Hi everyone, this is an update on my interferon treatments. I've made it through week 34. This is September the 30th, 2010. I only thing I have to report this week is that it seems that my side effects had leveled out. Uh, it has done this before and then kind of got a little sicker and then a little better. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster for me so far, but this week seems it has leveled out some, so I can tolerate that. Um, the most side effects is fatigue, tired, uh, weak, very weak. Um, you know, I have lost some weight and my muscles have turned to jello, so it, it, it is a little difficult to uh, stand for a long time, um, you know, lift anything heavy. Uh, my legs just feel like they're really, really weak. I use my arms for the most part, like a, almost I'm paralyzed, but I can move my legs. It's fine. It's just very, very weak. This has been a very stressful week for, uh, for me. I try not to get stressed out, even when not on treatment. Stress is bad for everyone, so, but especially being on treatments, uh, being stressed out uh, just makes things worse. So I try to stay positive and I think of uh, the positive things. Uh, unfortunately, I've lost my I've lost uh, my best friend, Chi Chi, this week. Uh, I've had him for 13 years, and uh, you know, four months ago, as most of you know, we lost our little girl Chihuahua. But uh, Chi Chi uh, had to be put to sleep uh, this week, and uh, it's been real stressful for me. So, uh, you know, I, pets are like my children to me, you know. But um, anyway, I try to stay away from stress, any kind of arguments of any kind. I try not to get angry. I've done very well with that these 34 weeks. I have not been depressed. Uh, I have just faced normal life things that happen, the things that I cannot change. Um, I have to accept life the way it is. So, you know we will go through real life things throughout our treatment and we just need to find ways to cope and deal with them and that's what I do I keep myself very busy on this internet um, I respond to everyone's emails I uh, respond to their messages and comments and I try to do my best to give them the information that I know that you know is a fact I don't tell anybody anything that I don't know if I don't know I, I try to get the information for them um, I really appreciate everybody's email it's, it's, it's really helped me especially this week there's uh, been a handful of people that's just starting their treatments and um, had shared their experience with me and their fears uh, I can sure relate um, I was terrified in the beginning <laughs> so um, if this little kitty cat can go through this cuz I'm I'm a kitty cat when it gets when it gets time for me to get sick I'm like a little baby so if I if I can get through this I'm sure you can get through this um, I wanna wish each and every one of you uh, the great luck of, in the world I know you can do this um, just do exactly what the doctor says drink plenty of water and if you have any questions feel free to email me at cyberfamily08 at yahoo.com and put in the subject line interferon so I know it's what it's about and I don't delete you as spam you can also find me on Facebook um, I, I don't mind you adding me as a friend just let me know that it is about the interferon so we know what kind of conversations to strike up also um, I just wanna you know wish Ron out there the best of luck he's a tough man I can see it and I know he can do this and uh, Nina you know I know you're doing well um, you know Deb I, I hope you find a doctor soon um, you know Kim you can do this you know I just met you um, I will have all of you in my prayers so if you um, have any questions just just give me a holler and, and I'll be glad to get right back to you I do this all in hopes of helping someone else I don't expect anything from this but maybe helping one person out there um, and some of my crazy videos put a smile on your face you know I, I try to keep out of self that's very important for me I just try to keep out of self 
Um, anyway, I really hope everyone has a great weekend. I hope I'm able to uh, give you an update next Thursday on my interferon treatments. I will be giving myself number 35 tomorrow at 10 p.m., which will leave me like 13 more to go. So, yes, the light is getting brighter. And for you, those who are just starting off, don't worry. I will do my best not to, to leave you. I will be available through email. And also, I will still be continuing the videos um, showing the progress of the recovery. Uh, how, you know, my blood counts are going back up and different things. Speaking of, I go next week to my doctor and get another blood, blood test. Uh, we will see where my blood levels are at this time, at that time. And then we'll, you know, uh, again, I, I will report the blood levels going back up and, you know, how I'm feeling, how, uh, you know, there's a, there's a guy out there I love to death. His name is John. He makes me smile. He makes me laugh. And he uh, went through this. And this man is very energetic, has a big smile on his face all the time. And, uh, you know, he, he gives me hope. Uh, he told me if he can do it, I can do it. So, you know, I hang on to that. Thanks, John. I love you all. You have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.